Hey, good morning. 10 a.m. It's breakfast time. I've heard so much about this place. I know it might not be a conventional breakfast to eat raw fish, but let's do it. Hey, my buddy's been here. All right, so I basically came and ordered everything I see. This is gonna be a heck of a breakfast. Well, that's cool, there's a flower shop right next to it. I wish I can smoke through my mask, but that's so pretty. Got my stuff. Ugh, let's go find a place to eat. Only place I could find, hood of my car. I'll show you what I got. Smoked salmon mac and cheese. I'm already falling in love just looking at it. I got a fish collar. I just saw it laying there. Anytime you see a fish collar, you should always order a fish collar. I've never encountered a fish collar where I didn't just want to get all up in his business. Cajun crab and shrimp. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks good. I feel like, like a seafood bachelor contestant where we're like just beautiful seafood dishes just being unveiled one after another and my heart just keeps racing faster and faster and I wish I had like a like a sea rose or something to give to each one of you but instead I'm gonna poke you with chopsticks. <laughs> this is just a side of uh, crab salad and rice with nori. I got my king crab panini. Miso black cod. I gotta smell that miso flavor from a mile away. Finally, this, I think this is something most people will get, the poke bowl. I got a combination poke bowl. If I was a betting man on Seafood Bachelor, my odds will be on this. Not only is it so amazingly pretty, it's a hefty portion too. All right, let's get to it. My first date will be with the panini, I think. Now we're gonna take a sneak peek and see what lies within this. Warning. It's gonna be some saucy stuff. So mature food audiences only. Ooh, <gasps> melty cheese, a mattress of white flaky king crab with little bits of rib poking through, scallions, of course, nesting between two perfectly toasted pieces of bread. Um, I don't think I've ever had a seafood panini before. I maybe it's the first time. Oh my god. I would give this multiple roses if I could. Extreme different contrast between the crunchy bread that's on the outside and that soft, delicate crab meat in the middle. Mm. Really simply seasoned, so you taste all that clumps of sweet meat. It's just a perfect dance, perfect balance of savoriness and sweetness. It has a lot of clams in this chowder. It's a bit of a soupier chowder. I kind of like my chowder a little thicker. That's really good chowder. Yeah, a little soupier than I typically will like my chowder, but packed full of clams. Mmm. A little bits of melty potatoes with skin on it, so you get that tiny bit of change in the texture. Ah, so good. So good. And again, only way to make this better. Mmm. It's like when ye tea went home. It's the perfect ending to the sandwich. Only thing that can make this even better, a little bit of Tabasco. If you never tried clam chowder with Tabasco, my friends, you are missing out. Like there's a chunk of life that you haven't lived yet. All right. And it can only be found when Tabasco meets clam chowder. I wish I had some Tabasco sauce right now. Mm. That was a magical first date. All right. Second date time. I choose the miso cod. Oh my goodness, so juicy, so tender. Look how that just flakes apart. This thing has prepared well for its day. Looking all sorts of ravishing. I mean, it's sitting on top of stuff we don't love, but we've all got flaws. Mm. Oh my God, this is a must try. Wow, wow. Wow, three. Wow, so this will be one of the juiciest, most tender piece of fish you'll put in your mouth. And you can see how juicy it is and how easily it falls apart when I'm just kind of breaking it gently with my chopsticks. What's amazing about this cod is you taste that sweet miso flavor. And I feel like there's almost like some sort of alcohol in this. That's kind of what it tastes like. 
I said, there's some kind of alcohol element to it where I'm just maybe tasting the fermentation of the miso, but the flavor is so uniquely special. It's really unlike anything I've had before. Astonishingly good. I mean, seafood bachelor just keeps getting better and better. Can't say enough good things about this. This is a must try when you come here. All right, let's try it with some of this green stuff that's underneath. So some arugula, and we'll dig into the rice with a little seaweed. I really like the rice. Good flavor from the sesame and the seaweed. I do feel like this fish, I must just eat it on its own because it's not saucy enough to mix in too well with the rice. And the arugula, that's a nice crunch. All right, I really don't know how it's gonna get any better, but let's go to contestant number three, the fish collar. I just saw this and this wasn't, I don't think this was on the menu. I just saw this and I, I was like, I need that in my life. And fish collar has such a high amount of fat. I'm just gonna pick this up and gnaw on it. has such a high amount of fat and oil. Mm. Once you get past the skin, soft, flaky, fatty pieces of meat that just melts away in your mouth. Mm. It's almost like a rib and a belly combined. You got a little piece of meat that's more lean, but then there's so much fat and flavor all throughout this whole thing. And this is perfectly, perfectly done off the grill. I don't even tell on my lips. All gloshed up. That's what happens when you make out with this contestant. Mm. Flavor is really simple, just a little bit of salt. Oh, you need all about the flavor of the fish, and this is marvelous. So, right now, the front runner is definitely the cod, but this, oh, don't sleep on this. All right, gotta try the salmon belly. I don't think you're supposed to eat the skin part. Oh my god. Say hello to the new love of my life. Wow. A moment of silence for how delicious that is. It's moments like these that I really love what I do because if I didn't do this, I wouldn't have ordered the entire menu and would have met so many great, great dishes, especially this one right here. This is 100,000%. You must get this if you come here, unbelievable. Like I've had salmon belly before, but this thing smoked, not only is it fatty and rich and so, so tender, this thing is just jam packed with smoke, delicious smoke. And the piece right above the skin, that's the fattiest part, oh my God. Mm. You die like an orange and it's probably juicier. I'm sitting on top of some macaroni salad Perfect combination. A little carb, a little creaminess from the mayo. Mm. It works harmoniously with the fatty, smoky salmon. Poseidon couldn't have ate better than what I am eating right now. It's like getting difficult because every time I try something new, I fall in love with that one. It's gonna be really hard to choose a winner on Seafood Bachelor. Now I kinda know how the real Bachelor feels. <laughs> Not the same at all. <laughs> Cajun shrimp and crab. Oh. Feels like I'm back in Louisiana. Mm. Tons of Cajun flavor. And of course, covered in garlic. You're getting savory, spicy sweetness from the shrimp. All hitting you at the same time. And we haven't even got to the crab yet. It's just so sexy when food and people come out of their shell. A few things I enjoy more than just the natural sweetness of a crab. That and the smoky, spicy seasoning. Just delicious. I think if I only ordered this, I would be so overwhelmed by how good this is, but I'm still stuck on how unbelievably insane tasting the salmon belly was. As beautiful as you are, my heart and taste buds, they belong to somebody else. Now, some of you may be surprised by this, but if you've been watching the show, you shouldn't be. This is my first ever Poke Bowl. I kid you that this is my first ever Poke Bowl. And I got spicy tuna and I got scallops because they told me it was fresh scallops. And I have developed a love for tuna since I started to eat more sushi. Mm. Wow. 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 Wow, that's good. <laughs> Ooh. Now let me try the scallops. Scallops with some roll. Mmm. 
That tastes like sea candy, a little poppin' sea candy. To say it's tender, we'll be insulting it. Mm. Little pieces of squid in here as well. Nothing I don't love about this bowl. Mm. Oh, oh my God. Look what I found in here. <laughs> Sorry. You guys don't know what that is. If you haven't watched a K-drama lately, that's a heart. Yeah. So go home and go to your significant other and just be like, hey, got some for you in my pocket. Right there. Mmm. Texture is perfect. And the sauce they put on here, it's so spicy, but it doesn't cover up how good and fresh the tuna is. It's just like a variety of textures and flavors. You got the spicy tuna, the sweet scallops, so many flavors and textures well represented in this one dish. Get out of here. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna put this down right now. And there's more seaweed on the bottom too, and it's saucy. So it goes so well with the rice. Mmm. This is mind blowingly good. All right, tried everything. I think finally we have to announce the winner and who will receive these chopsticks. My favorite dish, the one I will spend some private time in front of an episode of Scrubs with, is gonna be the smoked salmon belly with the macaroni salad. It's you. From the first bite, I knew. It would always be you. We're gonna be so happy together, you know, for the few minutes that I'm eating you. I think second place or tied is the Poke Bowl, and I love the miso cod. This place, I've been hearing about it for so long, never had a chance to go. If you're in Seattle, you want seafood, that has to be the place you go to. It's just a combination of Eastern and Western spice. So much Asian seasoning is used on the seafood. It's just incredibly marvelous. Shout out to the fish guys, and I'm gonna drive this to a more secluded area and uh, have a little private party. Can't have that on film though. Before we get out of the city today, I gotta be home by three o'clock. I got a shipment of ice cream coming. I'm gonna show you guys this is really cool. I'm filming another episode of the ice cream show on Friday or tomorrow. Just thinking back on it, I think that's the best seafood I think I've had in Seattle. Uh, and it's not even close. I remember going on a, a seafood hunt for some really good seafood in Seattle. I couldn't find much. Like Pike's chowder is really good. And it's really fun to kind of walk around um, Pike's Market when it was open. But I couldn't really find a place that had really amazingly tasting seafood. And I ended up going to uh, Duke's, which honestly, like, it was just mediocre. The fried catfish was really good at the Vietnamese place. But for fresh seafood, such an amazing array of flavors, I think that's the place to go. All right, I'm going to this place called, I like the name, it's called Fats Chicken. I like that. I love fat. And whatever, like, the word fat is in a name, I get excited. There it is. I see it. Fast chicken and waffles. Oh, they're not open. Oh, oh, they're they're gonna open at 3 p.m. today. Well, that's when my ice cream is gonna. I need to be at home. Oh, this looks good. This place. So sad. It's like the the food God gives and then He takes it away. Had a great seafood breakfast and for some reason it's just not open right now until 3 p.m. I gotta be home to pick up the ice cream. So they find this local barbecue place. I can use some barbecue. Oh, this place is, smells so good. I can smell it a block away. Hi, kitty. Watch out, barbecue. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. Your mac and cheese won best mac and cheese in the state. Yeah. Yes. Load me up with some brisket mac and cheese. There you go. Thank you. I love barbecue. We used to barbecue every other day. I mean, we didn't have any brisket or anything because we're poor college kids or poor high school kids. I don't know if I told you guys, we used to go to the supermarkets and buy packages of hot dogs. But we would go there the day before they expire. The supermarkets would discount them by a lot. So we buy all of these like almost expired hot dogs. And that's the only thing we barbecue. And it was delicious. Thanks, man. Hey How long do you guys smoke your uh, briskets for? About eight to ten hours. Eight to ten hours? All right, man. Well, I can't wait to try it. Thanks so much. Right, yeah, have a good one. Take care. This is a nice, quiet little neighborhood. Like, it's literally, this restaurant, like, nested in this really cool, quiet little neighborhood. That's a cool house, by the way. Pickle onions on top. That is a juicy brisket. Beautiful, crusted outer shell. Smoke ring, incredibly visible. Oh. That is a tender brisket. Tender, peppery, juicy brisket. Wow, so tender. 
best mac and cheese in Washington. Mm. That is amazing mac and cheese. That's one of the best mac and cheese I've ever had. Not that I go around eating mac and cheese all the time, but that is incredible mac and cheese. I like the mac and cheese more than the brisket, which says a lot because I love the brisket. I'm gonna try out this barbecue sauce. Mm. With barbecue sauce. Brisket, put some barbecue sauce on it. That's great barbecue sauce. Vinegary, peppery, spicy. Love the barbecue sauce. I love it. I love this place. This mac and cheese, oh my God. Couldn't be happier. This has been an amazing, amazing food day. Just eating it on the hood of my car. Something tragic just happened. I was putting the rest of the sauce back in my bag so I can take it home and, and put it on other stuff. It spilled everywhere. A moment of silence for the spilled barbecue sauce, please. Thinking with these cookies, um, at least with some of them, go home, air fry it. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna eat this one. Mmm. That's all good. Lemon and cranberry. I love soft cookies. Mm. I'm gonna take these home. Some I'm gonna microwave, some put an air fryer. Get them nice and melty. Oh, that was so good. I put everything in my air fryer. I don't care. This cookie. Mm. This cookie. Mm. Marvelous. Now let's put let's put the s'mores one in there. <laughs> Ever seen anyone get a cookie with chopsticks before? Let me show you. This is all busted up, but... Toasty marshmallow. Oh, there's like camping in my living room. These cookies, so good. This whole day, amazing food day. Everywhere I went, food was fabulous. All right, ate a lot. It's about 6, 6 p.m. I gotta go work out hard. Gotta get rid of the pokey belly. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. See you later. Mm -hmm.